Hi there, it's Hélène with another video. Uh, so welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. I post pretty often to YouTube, so you can find a lot of content on HMM makeup. And today is just, it's just a topic video. I, it's been uh, a topic that's been on my mind ever since the uh, weighing on my mind video, which I'll put um, in the cards and down below. And this is a video where I talked about weighing all of my makeup uh, palettes, so face palettes and um, uh, eyeshadow palettes. The reason I have been thinking about this is, or what I've been thinking about is, this whole concept of how we are getting hypercritical of make make makeup application and what colors are the most flattering, the most suitable, and that you know they're really things that we should not be doing and things that we should be doing. And I um I think that that is a dangerous way to go. And the reason I think it's a dangerous way to go is this idea that we need makeup to be accepted, that we need makeup to be um, attractive. And that couldn't be further from the truth. And the more we go toward superficiality, meaning all that matters is what our face looks like, the more we move away from humanity. And when it really comes down to it, Makeup is nothing more than face paint. Slightly fancier face paint. All we really need is some sort of a crushed pigment. I call it berries or some different spices or things like that that can give color to the skin. And we could just use that to, 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 to paint our faces. We don't really need any fancy cosmetics. But it has turned into such an engine giving us all these messages about the do's and don'ts and how we're supposed to use products. And if we take a look at it in just over the last 20, 30 years, the number of products that we are expected to use in our makeup routine has multiplied. It has doubled, tripled, quadrupled. I actually did another video, I'll put it in the cards and down below, about how many products I use, brushes and products on my face to get ready one morning. And I was shocked by the number and it really made me head scratch for a second. Now all these products are products I wanted to use. I didn't feel I had to use. I just was doing a full face and wanted to see what I was going to come up with. So what I'm trying to say is that it's not a bad thing to start asking sometimes do I want to use this or do I feel I have to use this? And then when we start feeling like we have to use something, or we have to have something that maybe we're getting sold a little bit too much and that it's good to maybe go with a, with a bare face one day just to just get back into really being good with what we look like, uh, Bare face, um, uh, you know, doing bare face on vacation, doing bare face on, on days off. I understand in some professional settings, makeup is is a, appropriate for your work, and some sort of minimal makeup would be kind of an, an expectation. Um, I have a problem with it, but I can understand how there could be those pressures that we feel we need to bend to. But as far as societal acceptance this idea that there is intolerance if someone is not going for a specific set of base makeup and set of, well, you know, you need to have your eyes, you need to have your lips, uh, you need to have some chick, cheek, chick, <laughs> chick, cheek, cheek color, and that kind of thing is really, really dangerous because we feel like we need to put on literally a face before we walk out the door and that we can't be accepted any other way and that if others aren't put together we will not accept them as uh, a complete human being 
without what is essentially some sort of a, um, a liquid and powder gift wrapping. I think we need to just peel back and say and see it for the ridiculousness that it is that we are putting powders and creams and liquids and whatnot on our face and on our hair for that matter and to some extent on our body. I love the fact that more people wearing makeup is increasingly acceptable for both women and men. I think that it's the, where we go wrong is when it's not just acceptable, it is expected and that you are a lesser human being if you're not partaking in it. And I see it sometimes on the opposite. I see it as if I go and I wear colorful makeup that I'm kind of like, oh, you decided to put that on your eye today. And I'm irreverent when I see a, a funny look and I say, yeah, kind of neat, isn't it? And it just kind of lightens the mood right away. But I don't need to follow a rule for what I decide to put on my face. And if people disapprove, that's really kind of their problem. And I think that when they see that I'm super comfortable in whatever I've chosen to put uh, on my face, that they kind of lighten up and they kind of realize in themselves how kind of silly it is that, that, oh, well, you know, if she'd done it this way, she would be more beautiful. Well, just a second, what was my goal in the first place? Was it to be beautiful or was it to have some fun that day and just goof off uh, or a bit of both w whatever the goal is it's my goal it has nothing to do with you and you can just frankly keep your opinion to yourself so i guess i'm i'm coming back to the whole point which is that makeup is nothing but face paint and we can see it in a positive light no matter how people use decide to use or not use it or we can see it as a negative and critical light where people have to follow specific parameters and that only certain ways of wearing makeup are acceptable. And if you really think about it, the latter is really kind of stupid because if we look at people over millennia and in different parts of the world, what is considered usual makeup application will vary wildly from one place to another, both in time and in space and in geography. So, you know, we have a trend, a way of doing things right now, and I can guarantee you two, five, ten years from now, we're going to think we look really goofy. And that's okay. And it makes it possible for us to laugh at ourselves now and to not take whatever the trend is today too seriously. So I hope I didn't ramble too much. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is makeup is just face paint. We can't let it rule our lives. We can't let it uh, twist us into some um, unachievable societal expectations. We should keep it for what it is, which is fun. The fact that um, our society has this toy for us to play with it at all um, ages and at this point in society, at, in all genders, that, that we should just enjoy it for what it is, don't take it too seriously, and just see where the ride takes us individually in both our how we evolve with trends and how we um, evolve our own personal creativity in what we present uh, to the world, to, um, for us to enjoy the experience of presenting it to the world or <laughs> doing a full face, staying at home, doing laundry, working on the computer, whatever it is, uh, like I'm doing today. So um, I hope this made sense. I, I guess I, I just like to push the reset button a little bit when, when thinking about these things. And um, I hope you found this uh, of some use. If you like this kind of content in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content overall uh, on HMM Makeup, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. That's it for now. Take care and see you soon.